Hi friends, this is Craft Designs by Shahira here and I'm going to create a Valentine's Day greeting card. So everything's been cut out with my Cricut Express machine. Here is the envelope that I will fold up. Here is the card that will be folded in half. Here's some pattern paper that I will place right on top of the card. I also have two brads that I'm thinking about using. Not really sure yet, but I probably will. Move it out the way. Here's the saying. It says, my heart. And here's the shadow cut of it. This was cut from the Gypsy Wandering cartridge. And this will go on the front of the card. Here's the bunny rabbit, and here's the shadow cut of the bunny rabbit. The bunny was cut from Doodle Charm. And here's a heart that was also cut from the Doodle car Charm cartridge. So let's assemble the card. I will also be using some Distress Ink Black Suit, probably just to ink up the edges of the bunny. And I will be using some Two Way Zip Glue and my dot liner. So let's get started. So the envelope was cut from the Sweetheart cartridge. It already has the score lines when you cut the envelope out from the Cricut cartridge. So I'm just going to fold it. You can use a bone folder if you like, but I'll just use my hands. Get this one folded. Alright, one more fold. Okay. Alright. So I'm just going to adhere it with my dot liner. And I'm also working on my craft sheet so that if I get any tape or glue on my craft sheet, it won't show up. Well, it won't stick to the craft sheet. There's the envelope. That's done. We'll put that to the side. So now let's get started with our card. I'm just going to fold that in half. And the card was also cut from the Sweetheart cartridge. Here it is. I'll leave the inside blank. I'm just going to add this pattern paper to the front of the card. So let's add some dot liner to that. Okay. It's a little crooked. Let's fix that. Don't want crooked pattern paper. <laughs> All right, so just, let me just line this up right. There we go. There's the front of the card. All right, so here is my heart. So it's going to add that to the front. So let's add some dot line into this. Nice and sticky. There we go. Look at that. So there's the heart. And I'm going to ink the edges of my bunny just to make it pop a little bit. Get inside the corners a little bit better. Now there it is. Let's get inside the corner just a little more. If you wanted to really get inside the corners when you're inking something, you can just use some regular um, 
markers to get inside it better. I'm just going to adhere that. Mm, it's not lined up right. Let's do that again. There we go. So let's adhere that to the front of the card. I do want to add my brads. So you know I'm just going to lift the pattern paper up. Should have did this before, but I didn't. So I'm just going to poke it through the thin pattern paper. There we go. Just going to open the little flaps. There's one. Let's do the other one at the top. So we'll lift the pattern paper up just a little bit. Let's poke it through the heart. The paper's a little thick, so I might have to use my scissors to poke a hole through it. Yep. Let's get the scissors. There we go. Okay, so it's going to open that up. And there's the brads on the card. Now it's time for the same. So I'm going to use my zig glue to put the glue on. This is a really nice, strong adhesive, and it dries pretty fast. Just gonna make sure that lined up right. I love the colors. I love how it pops. I'm just gonna add that to the front of the card. There we go. Something very quick and easy. As you can tell, I got a little bit on the corner there. But other than that, it's done. Zoom in a little bit. And that's all. So thanks for joining me, and I'll make another card soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.